Hi guys, and welcome to the channel. Hillbilly Military Modeling here, and it's time for me to start a new project. So this is going to be a kit review of the M4A3 Sherman with the 105 millimeter howitzer by Tamiya in 135th scale. I like to do these uh, little kit review videos for you guys so that you uh, get the opportunity to see what's in the kit before you make your decision on whether or not you want to buy this. Now this kit was released uh, in 2001, so it's a fairly new kit. Uh, and it's kit number 35251. And the price I paid for it was $36.80 uh, USD. And we can see here on the side of the box that this kit comes with uh, weapons and ammo cans and some stowage. So let's take a look at what is uh, in the kit. So first up we'll take a look at these instructions. To me it provides us with a history um, on the vehicle itself and also just a little bit of history on the uniforms of our infantry soldiers. This kit does contain uh, three infantry soldiers, a tank commander, and a driver. Our instructions are laid out very clearly and it's printed really nice and sharp so shouldn't be any issues in uh, figuring out our locations and what parts we're supposed to be using. Tamiya also provides us with the colors that we should be using uh, for our infantry soldiers and also the color and markings uh, and decal placement for three different versions of the vehicle and also for our driver and our tank commander now we have two versions of each of these so that gives us a lot of options if we choose to uh, go ahead and place figures in the vehicle Let's take a look at our tracks. Now these are the new style tracks. They're not vinyl, which means we can use the uh, regular model cement to glue these together. And they have some pretty decent detail. I think Tamiya did a pretty good job with these since they are the rubber band style tracks. So we'll take a good close look at our sprues. We'll start with sprue A here. And you can see here on our suspension bogies that we've got our casting numbers are on them. Good detail there. And we've got our nice detail on our road wheels. To me it does a really good job when it comes to the details being really nice and sharp and fine. The good thing is, unlike some other models uh, for the M4 Sherman, these bogies don't have a tremendous amount of parts, but they look really good. Now we'll look at sprue B. And this sprue has our front breastplate uh, transmission cover. Uh, the rear of the hull. We got our driver figures on it too, exhaust system, our pioneering tools. Nice sharp detail. They look really good. I think they're going to look really nice on the model. We also have some crates. Those are nice for stowage spare track sections yeah this model should go together pretty good I'm getting excited about building this one especially after some of the trouble we've had in the past <laughs> So our next set of sprues here 
uh, they have a, a, it looks like the driver and a lot of stowage components so we have uh, satchels and uh, ammo pouches helmets oil cans our drive sprockets are also on this sprue there are two uh, drive sprocket um, options you have the early and the late style and it also provides us with a board that'll go on the front of the vehicle to hold our store our stowage so next sprue up we're going to look at the turret and the main armament I really like this uh, gun mounting plate here. You can see those screws so nice. It's really good detail there. And we do have uh, cast texture. The gun mantlet also has casting numbers on it. And we have casting numbers on the top of the turret. no flash whatsoever on this kit just some parting seams for the molds and that's really it and in these two sprues here we have uh, our two commander options along with sea ration crates and ammo cans lots and lots of ammo cans so there are uh, let's see, four uh, 50 cal and four 30 caliber ammo cans on each sprue. I don't think we're going to use all that on, on just one tank, but it's good to have spares. And the figure detail looks pretty good. On to our next sprue, this is for our infantrymen. So we also have an M1 Garand here with the uh, uh, rifle grenade attached. Now that's something you don't see often. The weapons look really nice. And we have various other gear, the shovels and the uh, uh, holsters, canteens. We even got a Thompson machine gun. And these are our infantry f figures. nice detail these figures have been laid out pretty well I, I can only imagine they're going to fit together really nice if we choose to use those nice crisp suspenders on the figures That's really nice to see. Now we do have some poly caps, and these will be for the drive sprockets, the idlers, and also for the gun mount, I believe. Next we have the lower hull. It is a bathtub style. And we got some plate detail for where the bogies mount. And there's some rib detail on the bottom, and then that's it. I don't see an escape hatch or any access panels or anything. Now the upper hole looks really nice. We've got some weld seams. Looks really good. And there's also casting numbers uh, next to the driver's hatch. Those look good. Next we have our decals and uh, so this is 
these are the decals for uh, the three different versions that are provided and they look pretty good they're typical Tamiya style decals some people say they're kind of thick but I don't seem to have any issues with these so at first glance it looks like uh, a really nice model uh, I'm really going to enjoy building this one so I have a whole lot of polystyrene plastic to turn into a model now so I guess I better get started with that uh, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank my subscribers uh, I really appreciate you guys and if you're new to the channel and you like what you see uh, go ahead and subscribe hit that like button and please leave some comments I always like to hear from you guys so if you have any ideas on how I can make the channel better for you guys something you might want to see in the future uh, let me know I'll see see what I can do about it if it's within my ability and with that guys uh, that'll wrap it up for us see you in the next video